Hello everyone, this video will show you how to use Spooky2 Central. As we all know, Spooky2 Central has four modes, Plasma, Ultrasonic, PEMF, and Contact. Each mode can be run individually or together for improved results. For example, if you only want to run Plasma mode, you can just connect Spooky2 Phanotron Tube or Spooky2 Straight Tube to the Central box and choose the suitable programs on Spooky2 software. The same goes for the other three modes. You can also run all four modes simultaneously for the most effective treatment. Spooky2 Plasma has two different plasma tube, Spooky2 Phanotron Tube and Spooky2 Straight Tube. Spooky2 Phanotron Tube provides stronger and more focused signals, so it is recommended for localized treatment, while Spooky2 Straight Tube is suitable for whole body treatment. Spooky2 Central Contact Mode is designed to open up your cells to better receive plasma treatment. You can use Spooky2 Contact Accessories, Tense Pants Hand Cylinder Tense Contact Kit. Note that it is unsafe to use Spooky2 Tense Internal Electrode with Spooky2 Central. Spooky2 PMF Mode creates pulsed electromagnetic field, which extends 6 inches from the coil. Spooky2 Ultrasonic Mode is an effective and powerful way to flood the entire body with frequencies. We are composed of 70% water, so sound waves in our body travel very well. Tips Spooky2 Plasma Mode and Ultrasonic Mode only work when Spooky2 Central is driven by the Spooky2 Generator, while Spooky2 Contact Mode and PMF Mode can also work well without a Spooky2 Generator connected. So, let's start the hardware connection part. First, for Spooky2 PMF mode, plug the PMF coil into the coil outlet port. We use Spooky2 TENS pads as an example of Spooky2 contact mode. Connect the TENS pad to TENS cable and the other side of TENS cable to audio cable. Then plug the audio cable into the contact outlet port of the Spooky2 Central. In addition to Spooky2 TENS internal electrode, you can also use other contact accessories like hand cylinders contact kit. There is one switch to control on-off of both PMF and contact channels. Now connect the ultrasonic head to the ultrasonic cable, rotating nut tight them, and then plug the adapter into the ultrasonic outlet port. Next, we use Spooky2 XM Generator as an example to show how to connect the generator to Spooky2 Central. Please have a check with the tags on BNC filter cables. It will help you better understand which cable or port to connect to. One end of the first BNC filter cable should be connected out one of XM Generator and the other end to the input port of Spooky2 Central. The side of magnetic circle should be near the generator. In the same way, one end of the second BNC filter cable will be connected to OUT2 of XM Generator and the other end to the modulation port of Spooky2 Central. Push the cable connector in and turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Finally, use the USB filter to connect Spooky2 Generator to your computer. The side of magnetic circle should be near the generator. Spooky2 XM Generator is powered by a 5 volt power adapter. You can also use Spooky2 Generator X to connect to Spooky2 Central. The operation steps are the same as above. And Spooky2 Generator X is powered by a 12 volt power adapter. Let's go to connect the plasma tube. I will take Spooky2 Phanotron Tube as an example. Plug the adapter of the Phanotron tube into the outlet, and we need to connect the power plug to an electric outlet which should be different from the electric outlet of the generator and computer. The Spooky2 straight tube is connected in the same way as the Spooky2 Phanotron tube. Before choosing a program, we need to power on Spooky2 Central. The switch light should work. Now turn on generator and start the software. Back to Spooky2 software. On the control tab, there is a pink square button with number X that means the Spooky2 XM generator was found. 
In this video, we will run a cold program as an example. Now we go back to the preset tab and choose the suitable preset. Click Shell Empty Presets, Plasma, choose Spooky Plasma Advanced, P, J, W. Go to the Programs tab and enter cold as the keyword to search some programs. Then go to the Control tab, tick Overwrite Generator and click the Generator button. Finally, click the Start button. The red button becomes green, which means the program is running. One of the input and modulation LEDs should be blinking and the other one should be stable. And Phenotron tube should light and blink. Notes for using Spooky 2 Central Number 1. Make sure the white high voltage wires, plasma tube and Spooky Central are as far from the generator and its power supply as possible. If either the high voltage cable of the tube or the tube itself is close to the power supply or power supply wires of the generator, the generator may easily lock up. Number 2. The cable from the 5 volt power adapter acts as an aerial, picking up the signals from Spooky Central. Please ensure the adapter is plugged into a different main socket outlet. Number 3. Use the special USB and BNC filter cables provided with your Spooky 2 Central.